Hi everyone, welcome to ROS tutorial series and in this video we are going to see what is a ROS2 node and we'll also program our own ROS2 nodes. So what is a ROS2 node? ROS2 node is just a program. So last video we already saw what is a pack a ROS2 package, right? So package is just a module and ROS2 node is a program inside that module. So for example, now we have a camera module module or camera package. So inside the camera package we'll have multiple functions. So one of the node will be receiving the camera feed and the other node will be processing it or something like that. So for example, now I'm going to say is I have an object detection program or inside the camera uh, package, I can keep my object detection program. Also, I need the object whenever an object detection program detects an object or like a car, it should send a message to a different node that is an image processing node so that it can search for number plates inside that car. Like that, nodes are separate, separate programs which can have multi uh, different functionalities and it can be run independently. Like if I want, I can run object detection or node alone so that I can run object detection alone. And if I want to do the image processing on the number plates, I have a different image processing module which can do number plate detection. So package is a collection of nodes and nodes are just a single program. So we will see with an example. So you can see this is a camera package and we have camera driver and image processing driver. And we have another package that is motion planning package that will have motion planning and path collection. So all these things can be connected together. In nodes can be communicated with each other using ROS2 communications. Also node can communicate outside the package as well for, to a different package. So that is also a useful function of your ROS2 communications. When you go forward, you will learn and understand what is happening inside these nodes and packages. So for now, you just understand that nodes are just a program inside the package and we can communicate using ROS2 communications. So some functions of nodes are like it's a sub program inside your application, which is responsible for one, only one thing or a small task. And we can combine all these nodes to form a package that will do a larger task. So some benefits of ROS2 nodes are we can reduce code complexity and fault tolerance. So, and it can be written Python and C++, any language that you like, Python or C++, okay. So, now let's go and create our own nodes and we'll learn how the nodes can be programmed. So, open your terminal, go inside the workspace that we created in the earlier videos, cd, ros, underscore, ws, underscore, learn. So, this is the workspace that we created in earlier videos and we'll go inside our src folder and go inside our Python package. So go to cd python package. So we have this much things in the python package. Inside python package we should go inside the python package that is another folder inside the python package. So last, last video I told you all the programs or nodes can be written inside this folder only. So we are going to create our own node using touch command. Touch and the name of the node that will be no, python underscore node py. So this is a name of the Python file and we'll create it. Now ls so you can see the, uh, the file has been created. So now what we're going to do is we are going to give execution permission to that using ch mode and plus x that is execution permission and we are going to give python python node.py and we'll give enter. So you can see the color of the py and Go, Python file has been changed so this is now an ex executable file so now we'll go inside the VS code and write our own code so first of all we should go to src folder so this is the src folder and write code dot to go inside VS code so you can see the Python file is here so we are going to write our node program inside this Python file so this will be our main node program for now so now we are going to make it so before writing the code when when we are executing our code we should specify the pro python program to make sure you use python 3 as our python interpreter so what we are going to do is make sure that that is set to python 3 so that we we need to add this command in front of every python program that we are going to write so user bin slash environment NVN and python3 by setting this this will become our python3 interpreter will automatically run the code when we are running it so now we are going to import the things that we need so we need to import 
RCL Py. That is the Python library for ROS actually. And the next thing what we need to import is from RCL Py. RCL Py. We need to import node. Okay. So we import a node. Import node. So we have so now we have imported the rclpy and imported the rclpy.node so now we are going to write our code or the main function that is using function keyword it's normal python function we should create one and inside the python function make sure you write the same spelling at args equal to none so this is a syntax for ros making a ros2 node this is the main syntax that you should follow for now we will write ourselves and we'll copy paste all the time whenever we need. So this is the main syntax. We'll initialize rclpy using rclpy.init and we'll give args again set that args equal to args. This is the syntax that we need. Okay, this will initialize rclpy. Now we need to create a node. So for now, this is just a node name and we'll give a name for the node as no inside. Usually we'll call the function from node and give we will give a node fun, a name that is inside here okay that will be python underscore node so this is the name that we are going to give this is the python underscore node this will be our name of the fun, uh, node that we are going to execute in ROS so rclpy will call again and we will shut down rclpy okay so this is the main function for the ROS to node and what is happening here is we are initializing the rclpy we are creating a node and we are shutting down rclpy so the program will run and just shut down so now we are going to call the main function that we created and that will be like this you already know this syntax because this is the basic syntax in python so that's what we need and we'll give main okay so we are calling this main function here we are without any arg arguments okay so we have completed writing our ros2 node and now we are going to check if it's working correctly so go to the terminal and what we, need, what we need to do is go inside the python package and go inside so you can see the code that we have made so we'll run it using python 3 and python and the name of the node so we'll enter so we can see the code has run without any error so now we are going to do is we are going to add this ROS2 node to our own ROS2 program set. So we should so that we, when we compile it using a call con build, we can run this using ROS2. So what we need to do that is go to the setup file and we should edit this inside the entry points. So what we need to add here is we need to give the name of the node that we are going to run. So that will be python underscore node equal to the name of the package that we, our package name is python underscore pkg that is our name of the, our package now what we need to dot name of the python file that is python underscore node that will be our name of the python file you can see and the name of the function the name of the function is main so so when we are compiling this we'll have an nos2 node inside the ros2 packages so let's see how we can compile this so we'll save and close the setup file so now we'll go to the workspace folder and do a call con build that is call con build and enter so it will build the package now so now what we can do is we can run the ros2 node using our ros2 run command so in our first video when we run our first ros2 node i have already shown you how to run the ros2 command that is ros2 run name of the python package that we uh, name of the python package that we created so the python package is python underscore pkg and now the name of the node what is the name of the node that we just created so in the in the setup folder you can see the name of the node is python node so that is the same that we need to give here python node so you can see when we enter the command has run the python code so now this code just do anything so you don't know if it's running correctly right so now we're going to edit this file and make an hello world program so how will we do that so this is our node we have created so to do the hello world program what we'll do is we'll go with node that is our name of node one is our name of the node then what we'll do is get logger 
so underscore log so get logger is just like a print statement in python so it's a different for ros this is a print statement for ros2 inside that we'll go with info so info function and inside that we'll type out whatever we need to print so now i'm gonna print hello so now i'm gonna print hello ros robotics so this is what i'm gonna print we don't need to shut it down at the same time so what we are going to do we are going to loop it so that we have a function for that as well rclpy dot spin so this spin function will loop the node so that the node will continually run the rcl spin program will run until we do control c so now we will save the program so you can see this is we have saved the program now we need to compile it again using call con call con build okay we are building it again so every time you do the change we should make it build it again so that it will make changes in the world now we are going to run the same ros2 run python package and name of the node so you can see hello ros robotics is printed in our screen so now there is one more functionality that we can check if the ros2 node is working rqt rqt underscore graph you can just type that and enter and you can see the there is a ROS2 node running. That name name of the node is Python underscore node. Also, we can check if the node is running using type ROS2 and node and list. There is a function there for that as well. You can see the node list will give us Python node. With that is what we have made. And this node is running. Now we will close this using Control C and now we'll check ROS2 list again now you can see the ROS2 list is blank we will run the, again the ROS2 node you see we'll do the list again and you can see the node has appeared again so this is how we can check if the ROS2 node is working correctly so you guys need to just understand that nodes are python programs or in C++ programs which are inside the ROS2 package so nodes can communicate with each other other nodes as well as other packages notes also so we'll understand that in deeply in upcoming videos so see you guys in next video